Hey kiteboarders, this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports and today's video is all about the new Core Kiteboarding XR8. It is new to the kiteboarding scene and in previous videos we've gone through the great detail of all the product enhancements that they have offered to us. It is super awesome to be out there on the water on something that Core works on for over two years to develop to become the next best big air kite in the world. Today's video is a little bit of a switch from the normal routine. We are actually videoing and interviewing the riders as they come in off the water and we're getting real world feedback on what they think has improved or what they have liked about the new XR8 in comparison to other kites on the market. So stay tuned and see what they have to say. So Jan, what'd you think about that new XR8? Man, it's pretty sick. Uh, really what I noticed from the beginning was just like the pressure on the bar is just right. It's not too low, it's not too high, it's a really smooth kite, it has a lot of pull. When you do those loops, it just, it just dialed right in, you know? So, really awesome, great flying as well. You know, when you, when you go for big air, it will just hold you. Um, just all around great kite. Uh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't think about anything better. What do you think about that new XR8, man? Uh, I was very impressed. I, mean, I have been kiting with Elite for you know a few years now, and I have progressed my, you know, skills with the XR, and uh, they just put me this new XR, you know, eight, and I just tried the 13.5, and it was amazing. You know, I mean, it's very responsive, light, right? You know, and it's like you are on a much smaller kite as opposed to be on a 13.5. So the transitions were easy, the jumps were higher, you know, I'm still working on my landings, but uh, I was very impressed to have a bigger kite and that uh, performs like a much smaller kite, you know, as far as handling goes. Tony, what do you think about the new XR8? I thought it was strong. It was a great trip up again this year, 2023. Got to do back-to-back -back sessions on the XR7 right back to back with the same size kite the xr8 was fantastic going 15 to 15 and then did uh rode the eight and then the eight back to back sessions two different days and amazing the difference in the kite uh i can't really explain it i mean the 15 xr7 i love that kite but the new xr8 i mean two loops and a tack out i mean so incredible what a great kite whatever the changes were made were fantastic the eight super fast i'm 230 that's my weight i'm not afraid to say it and uh riding on an eight is not not often for me but it was a great ride xr8s they're pretty strong i'll check them out so i just rode the xr8 um, i'm a fairly new rider uh, i mean i can make it up wind and kind of working on some hops and jumps and pops but uh, it was super easy to cut up wind. I mean, even my uncle, who's a brand new beginner that's just barely popping out of the water, was cutting up wind like 45 degrees and not really having much of a problem at all. So that was great. Um, I felt like even when I was overpowered, uh, it wasn't you know dragging me downwind and it was really manageable. You know, you sheet out, it, res it responds quickly um, and smooth. So it's not jerky, it was controllable um, and, and the efficiency was great. Like XR8, bro. Oh, the XR8 is awesome. What do you like about it? The XR8, size-wise, is awesome from last year because if you ride the same size, it actually feels like it's the next size up, so you get a lot more power out of it. So, what about the looping? The looping oh, is unreal compared to the XR7. So smooth, gets you through the loop, and catches you on the way back down. So, Bo, what do you think about that new XR8? So, first time yesterday on the 8 meter XR8. It's blown about 35 miles an hour. And uh, what I'd have to say is based off previously the XR6, which I absolutely loved, moving to the XR7, which to me, I felt like it just had a little bit more power. Um, and that's kind of what I noticed with the XR7, maybe a little bit more lift. And then now getting on the XR8, uh, I feel like the kite loops better, uh, drifts a little bit better in the sky instead of just kind of hanging there and falling to a certain side and not really catching you. 
So when you really loop that eight, it really catches you and uh, feel like it's always there for you. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have a kite that you can rely on and know that it's gonna catch you when you're throwing those loops. What do you think about that new XR8? Yeah, it just got off the water from one of my first sessions. It's super nice, really smooth. You can really tell the new materials, flies a little lighter, um, nice responsiveness, and yeah, really stoked on it. All right, so we've had a great day on the water and we've got a ton of people going out there trying the new XR8. We want a real world feedback and just making sure that we're not all hyped up and reading all the different kind of marketing materials and whatnot. I want a real world feedback from our clients both on the beginner level and also the real riders. The riders that have been around for many, many years and have gone through every XR iteration. And I gotta say my personal opinion on it is that it is, has been the most improvement, the biggest change since the original XR4 that I started on. It is more responsive, it is hanging me higher, it is faster in the loops, I'm getting caught a lot sooner where I'm not so uh, worried about that catch after a big, big loop, after a big trick, or maybe trying new tricks, this kite's catching me so much faster and easier. For that old school style that I am, of those low level hand drags or Jesus walks or whatever it is, I'm learning that this kite is actually surging throughout that loop on the back side of it and actually lifting me rather than penduling me into or closer to the water. It has been a great pleasure to have the last couple weeks on it here in Outer Banks and back at home. And I'm telling you, it is the biggest improvement that Core Kiteboarding has ever done on their XR hands down. A little tech side of it, what I've done is I've gone out on the nine, I've gone out on the seven, I've gone all the way up to the 17. I've tried every single size and what has been super, super consistent is that on the smaller sizes, say 11 or smaller, um, I've noticed that you can over pump these kites. This new material, the leading edge material is super rigid and super strong that they're recommended eight PSI that usually pro riders kind of disregard. They just pump up until they can't pump anymore. Well, you gotta pump it at eight. And how I know this is that I went out one day and I was super stoked to go out on this nine and I had a great session the day before and it just was not feeling the same, right? I figured it out during that session. I rock hard and pumped it up. All right. I rock hard pumped it up and what was happening is the kite was so rigid in the sky that I wasn't getting the same reaction from it. I went back to the beach and I went to about 8 PSI which is what was recommended and now all of a sudden my hang time was improved, my loops were improved, the kite was more responsive. So my personal feedback on it is you gotta make sure you have a really nice gauge or get used to a flex test to make sure that that kite is pumped up appropriately. Now, as far as the beginner side of it, as you saw in some of the testimonies, they have enjoyed the down loop and the catch. It has made it easier for me to teach in the last week or so. I've been teaching like strictly on the XRs and it's been easier for me to teach more so than ever how to do down loop transitions, doing their first, you know, jumping with maybe a small down loop afterwards. It has made it just that easy for them to learn on it. So therefore that translates into the pros being able to accomplish bigger and better tricks with a lot more ease and less skill needed to do so. So I strongly advise, come on down to the shop, give us a call. You know, we can always set you up for a demo or a rental or somehow to get that kite in your hands for you to try. Core is always around at all the local spots. Take advantage of it, forget your kites at home and take out the new XR8. I am thoroughly stoked. That is my honest opinion, I promise you. This is Aaron with Elite Water Sports. We'll see you on the water.